Could we be seeing the beginning of a working relationship between Impact Wrestling and AEW? The New Japan Pro Wrestling and Impact Wrestling Partnership is expected to grow. And a little bit on Chris Bay and the Super J Cup. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Before I get started, I just want to mention that I do have my own YouTube channel, the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. The Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Just got started a couple weeks ago. I have a number of interviews on there, including legends like Nikita Koloff, Ricky Martin, uh, No Class Bobby Bass. In addition, I have interviews with Kobe Christ, the new Kaizen Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. I have interviews with Luchador Sensation Guerrero Seiya and Mia Malik as well. I have interviews with newcomer Sam Shields. I have interviews with the king of Maritimes Wrestling, J.P. Sims. Head on over, Alliance Pro Wrestling Network, and there are many more interviews on there as well. The Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Please head on over there, subscribe to the network. i got a lot more interviews coming, a lot more content going to be added. One more time, the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. All right, let's get started here on Shooting Up North, and we heard, as always, on the Impact Lounge. Could there be a working relationship in the works between Impact Wrestling and AEW. Now, we know the NWA, they have somewhat of a working relationship with them. The NWA t- title, the MWA women's title has been defended by Serena Deeb on a number of occasions. Thunder Rosa was on there as the NWA uh, World's uh, Women's Champion. Could that could something like this be in the work for Impact Wrestling? Could we see could we, could we see Rich Swan showing up in Impact Wrestling defending the Impact Wrestling title? Could we see the North showing up on AEW defending the Impact Wrestling Tag Team titles? Could we see it? And, and here's why I'm thinking it. Here's why I'm thinking it. As we know, Full Gear, uh, Don Callis was on Full Gear. He he announced the, the Kenny Omega match. And, and here's what Tony Khan said. Here's what Tony Khan said. He said, we talked it over with Impact and agreed for Don to come. Don is an executive over there. Yo, thanks a lot, Tony, by the way. Thanks for, thanks for clearing that up because nobody knew that uh, <laughs> that Don Callis was an Impact Wrestling executive. But anyway, he, goes, he, says, he says, I'd love to have Don back here in the future. I'm open to working with people. I think we've shown up multiple times in AEW. It's probably the most friendly major company right now. We've got good partnerships with AAA, Mexico uh, promotion, uh, NWA, Kenny is the AAA Mega Champion. The Lucha Brothers are the AAA Tag Team Champions. And Serena is the NWA Women's Champion. I love working with other companies. And you never know. I'm open to Don coming back. He did a great job on commentary. So that's great. So he's leaving the door open there. He's saying, I'm open to working with Impact Wrestling. Uh, he, he's just he's referring to bringing Don Don Callis back, but he's, he's he says he's open to working with other companies. They're the most major friend, the most friendly major company in professional wrestling right now. Fast forward to this was this was a week ago. Now fast forward to yesterday. Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson call out the Young Bucks and FTR. Okay, so they call out the Young Bucks and FTR. And Doc Gallows says, let me pull up the quote here. One second. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Um, okay, here we go. Sorry about that. I, 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 I lost it for a second. So he goes, coming off the heels of an instant classic between the Young Bucks and FTR, Gallows and Anderson would welcome a triple threat match to crown once and for all the best tag team in the world. So... Luke Gallo says, 
Well, I mean, we have the trophy, and we have multiple IWGP Tag Team titles, New Japan Pro Wrestling, and we have multiple WWE Tag Team titles, <laughs> who cares? And after Saturday, November 14th, at Turning Point on the Impact Plus app, when we defeat the North for the Impact Wrestling Tag Team titles, we'll be Triple Crown World Tag Team Champions. Those are four of our best friends in the business, and I don't think any of the four can say that shit. We all know where we stand, and if we could ever get a chance to cross-promote and do whatever we need to do to get in there with them and have a three-way with them, man, that's a game-changer. So that's actually, actually, that last quote was from Carl Anderson. So Carl Anderson said, we know where we stand, and if we ever get a chance to cross-promote and do whatever we need to do to get in there with them and have a three-way, that would be a game-changer. So they're saying right there that... Let's do what we have to do to cross-promote. Tony Khan says a week ago that he's open to working with with many companies because they are the most friendly major company right now. So after reading the Don Callis thing a week ago and now reading Gallows and Anderson uh, calling out um, the Young Bucks and FTR, I'm starting to think that maybe they're planting the seeds for a working relationship between Impact Wrestling and and AEW, it would be my guess, of course, Luke Gallows and Carl uh, Anderson, probably the biggest names right now in Impact Wrestling, would be the team that would go over there. But after that, like like I mentioned before, could we see Rich Swan going over there? Could we see uh, Rohit Raju going over there defending his uh, exhibition title? Could we see the North, if they're still the tag team champions, going over there? Defending the Impact Wrestling tag team titles on, on AEW Dynamite? I think it's a great possibility. I think it's a great possibility. Anything is possible. I mean, if they're working with the NWA, they they got a partnership with the NWA. And NWA doesn't really exist right now because of COVID, unfortunately. And it's very important to keep the NWA name going if they want to eventually come back. And for them to strike this working relationship with, with um, AEW to get their talent and to get their titles on AEW Dynamite, I think is fantastic. And I think Impact Wrestling should... Work on doing the same thing. They should work on doing the same thing with AEW. And AEW, Tony Khan, seems to be open to it. He seems to be open to it. And I I would expect we would see Don Callis back uh, at AEW to call another match. Because Don Callis, as as an announcer, he could be fantastic. You know, in Impact Wrestling, when he's with Josh Matthews, he could be a goofball and not the best. But Don Callis can call a match. and, And he is fantastic. And he did a fantastic job, apparently, because I didn't see the match. But apparently he did a fantastic job uh, calling the Kenny Omega match. I used to watch him in New Japan Pro Wrestling, uh, and he was just, he was fantastic. He was fantastic. So I expect to see Don Callis back. And again, just planting the seeds. Gallows and Anderson calling out uh, the Young Bucks and FTR. More seeds being planted there. And... You know, it's, it would just be a huge benefit for Impact Wrestling because right now they're on a little bit on a downside right now, um, losing the Rascals, uh, the whole um, Kylie Ray thing. So they're 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 a bit on a, de- a bit of a decline right now. I think this would pick them right back up if they could work on this relationship and get something going with AEW. It, I think uh, I, I wouldn't expect to see uh, AEW stars showing up. On Impact Wrestling, but but you never know. I think it would be more. Let's get our stars onto AEW and get more nor get more get more notoriety for them, and uh, to get more uh, to, to try to create a buzz, more of a buzz for Impact Wrestling, which is what they uh, sorely need it right sorely need right now. Speaking of partnerships, speaking of partnerships, the New Japan Pro Wrestling and Impact Wrestling partnership is expected to grow. It's expected to grow. It all started with as soon as Gallows and Ariston signed, they mentioned that they want to work on repairing the relationship between New Japan Pro Wrestling and Impact Wrestling. And I'm sure they worked on it. Rocky Romero, who signed with Impact Wrestling, um, good friends with Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows, and um, they uh, worked together on Talking Shop of Mania. Um, and they know they know uh, higher up to New Japan Pro Wrestling, and I, I truly believe that this led to Chris Bay being booked on the Super J Cup, which is a tremendous tournament. I'm I'm looking forward to this tournament, uh, the Super J Cup tournament. I think Chris Bay is going to be fantastic. 
And I think uh, it all their their work led to Chris Bay being uh, named as an entrant in the Super J Cup. And where can it go from here? Where can it go from here? What what's next? Well, Gallows and Anderson are definitely headed over to to New Japan uh, as soon as they're able to. I'm sure they're gonna. I'm surprised they're 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 not gonna be in the World Tag League, uh, which is coming up. But uh, that's fine. But I'm sure as soon as they're able to travel over there. And uh, I don't know what the travel situation is, but uh, as soon as they're able to get over there, I'm sure we're going to see them in New Japan Pro Wrestling because they did sign a contract with them, and they're going to work on the relationship. And I, you know, like what if uh, you know Gals and Anderson talking to higher ups in New Japan Pro Wrestling, saying, "Hey, can we bring the North with us? The North, the North, uh, great tag team. That we want, we want to bring them with us, and um, let's book them on a few matches." Or, or coming back, Rocky Romero. Rocky Romero, again, like I mentioned, good friends with Carl Anderson and uh, Luke Gallows, but he's uh, signed uh, exclusively to New Japan Pro Wrestling. What if uh, they say, uh, let, let, let's use Rocky Romero? Can we use Rocky Romero in Impact Wrestling? Or what if they say, let's, what if they say um, we, we want to bring Kenta, uh, Kenta back with us uh, for, um, for a two-month stay uh, in Impact Wrestling? They, I'm sure they're going to work on that. And it's... It's 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 exciting to think about it, especially like I said now with the rascals gone, Kylie Ray situation. Uh, they need this. They need this upswing. Impact Wrestling needs this excitement. They need this buzz. And Carl Anderson said that he feels by the summer of next year, some big things will have happened between New Japan Pro Wrestling and Impact Wrestling, and that's just fantastic. That's just fantastic. What if? It, Send over a, a group of Impact Wrestling uh, talent uh, to New Japan Pro Wrestling, and they could have a New Japan Pro Wrestling Impact Wrestling um, uh, Super Show, like to do with Ring of Honor. You know, they they could do something like that. That's this the buzz is there, man. The buzz is there. It's something like I said, something to really get excited about. You know, forming relationships, AEW. And Impact Wrestling, let them let them work on something. And New Japan Pro Wrestling, Impact Wrestling, let them work on that partnership. It's just and and even like AEW and and, and New Japan Pro Wrestling, you know, work on something. And then AE, then Impact Wrestling in the mix. And then if you want to bring in Ring of Honor, then you have like a, a just an absolute tremendous supercard of four or five promotions working together. It's just an Impact Wrestling being a part of it. Again, creates that buzz that they need. So let's let's. They have to work on it, man. They have to work on that, man. It's it's like I said. Just just think about it. It's some exciting times. Exciting times are coming for Impact Wrestling. I I can feel it. I can feel it. Some really good things are about to happen for Impact Wrestling. And um, you just you just wait. You just wait, man. And uh, we miss, we mentioned Chris Bay. Now, I, I, I know I'm speaking positive, uh, but I'm going to have to speak a little negative now. So I do apologize, but I do have to bring it up. You know, I, I spoke to my boy, BQ about it, and um, I, I need to bring it up. I need to bring it up. Chris Bay, as I mentioned, in the Super J Cup. And they announced it. They finally made the announcement. It was kind of a nonchalant announcement. Uh, Madison Rain kind of oh she, it was kind of like oh by the way uh, Chris Bay will be in the in the an entrant in the Super J Cup um, New Japan Pro Wrestling Super J Cup and they spoke about it briefly during the Chris Bay uh, Eddie Edwards match and you would think that okay Chris Bay Impact Wrestling he's headed to the Super J Cup he's gonna build up some momentum because it's it's less than a month away now they're gonna build some momentum up for 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 Chris Bay we we just made the a big announcement and what happens. Chris Bay loses the match to Eddie Edwards. It kind of takes away that momentum. There's no way I feel that Chris Bay should have lost, should be losing any matches on his way to the Super J Cup. Okay, yes, I, I say it was pre-recorded and, and the announcement happened after they recorded this. I, I find I, that's fine. But did they were they forced to show this match? Were they forced to show the match? You know, couldn't they have just put together a couple of matches? Actually, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, no, 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 no. No, Scott Demore tweeted. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk back for on this for a second. Scott Demore tweeted that he knew about it for a while, but he wasn't. He didn't want. He wasn't allowed to make the announcement, so they did know about it for a while. And I'm sure they. Um, there's a very, very good chance that they knew about it. I'm almost certain that they knew about it before they did the tapings. Okay, that, that, because I, I just remember, remember, I just remember that tweet. I just remember that tweet that Scott Demore made. Okay, so I'm sure they knew about it before they did the tapings. They, there's, they should, 
that said, there's no way that Chris Bay should have lost to Eddie Edwards. You know, they should have had Chris Bay just in exhibitions type matches, have him go undefeated, build up momentum, leading up to the Super J Cup. And so we, people will get excited because if they make if someone's watching it for for the first time and they're like oh Chris Bay they announced Chris Bay in the Super J Cup, you know New Japan Pro Wrestling say New Japan New Japan Pro Wrestling fan is watching because they want to see they want to see oh, what Chris Bay is all about and they make the announcement Chris Bay in the Super J Cup New Japan and they're like wow all right they made the announcement this is Chris Bay and then Chris Bay loses the match and they're like okay so they they this this is Chris Bay. The first time I'm watching him, and they make the announcement that he's going to the Super J Cup, he loses his match to Eddie Edwards. And so they're like, "Oh, okay, well, he's no big deal." You know, that's that's the, that's what they're gonna be thinking. That's what they're gonna be thinking. Oh, oh, okay, he he looked good, but he lost. Okay, great. Okay, they turn it they turn it off, and they're like, "Okay, no no big deal. I'm sure he's gonna he's gonna lose quickly to uh, Clark Connors uh, in the first round match." You know, that's what annoys me. That's what annoys me. They they should be building up. They should be building him up all the way through until the Super J Cup. Because I want him to do well. I want Chris Bay. I'm a huge Chris Bay fan. And I want Chris Bay to do really, really well in the Super J Cup. And I feel he's going to do really, really well. And quite honestly, I cannot wait for that tournament. So if, if you want to see it, it's going to be on New Japan World. It's not going to be on Impact Plus. I, I, I've seen people on social media asking if it's going to be on Impact Plus. Not going to be on Impact Plus. It's going to be on New Japan World. Uh, probably going to be on um, um, f- um, Fight t- um, uh, Fight as well. You could probably order through there. But uh, New Japan World, New Japan World uh, is where you're going to see it. It's going to be seen worldwide, and I can't wait for that. That's going to be a great tournament, and it's just the beginning for the relationship between New Japan Pro Wrestling and Impact Wrestling. This is just the beginning. There's a lot more on the way. I really do feel that. And on that note, I'm going to say thank you so much for listening today. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. And until next time, stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.